Scholastica is an addition to this course from the last time I taught it, four years ago, five years ago. Kind of the, some people would still call this the dark ages, uh, and, and that's fine. But the reason St. Scholastica is in here is because she started the first Benedictine convent. So as St. Benedict uh, started the first uh, uh, convent, or the, the, the first religious order in the West, the Benedictines, or what would become the Benedictines, his twin sister, Scholastica, that makes you want to look at this a little closer, his twin sister, Scholastica, started the first Benedictine nunnery or convent uh, in, the, in the West. And, uh, so, well, I guess we should start with uh, Benedict, just as a quick refresher. Benedict was a monk in Italy. He was shocked at the, uh, the poor moral tone in Rome, we'll leave it at that. He went out into the countryside and he eventually uh, became a hermit, but then other people started gathering around him and they wanted to, him to be kind of the head of a religious order. And in time he started 12 little monasteries around the Subiaco area. And uh, in time these grew and then he finally ends up starting his, uh, creating his masterpiece, which is a, a little tiny monastery in a place called Monte Cassino, uh, which of course is one of the largest monasteries uh, ever built. And if you are familiar with World War II, you will know that the Allies bombed the heck out of Monte Cassino uh, Monastery for like, what, three or four days with high explosives. Uh, and when it was all over, there were still parts of the monastery standing was rebuilt after the war. But Benedict starts uh, this, this wonderful monastery. He starts what later will be a religious order named after him, known as the Benedictines. And perhaps more importantly, he writes the Order of St. Benedict, which is kind of the rules and regulations for running a monastery. So Benedict uh, starts the first male convent, but his twin sister, uh, starts the uh, uh, nunnery at uh, Plum Barriola, which is uh, five miles from Monte Cassino. In order to become a saint, you have to have miracles ascribed to you, either that you performed yourself or that people observe while invoking your name. Uh, there's this wonderful story about St. Scholastica that was recorded by St. Gregory the, the Great. Uh, other than being Pope, what is Gregory the Great known for? Gregorian chant. Gregorian chant, or, or plain chant. Um, this is when they were both very old, Scholastica and Benedict. And her, uh, her brother had come to visit Scholastica one day, and she wanted him to spend the night. And it becomes, uh, it becomes clear with events that would happen within a few days why she wanted him to stay because she was really about to die and may, she may have known that. So she asked her brother, the great abbot of Monte Cassino and the founder of the Benedictines, Benny, well, can't you stay the night? I mean, you have to rush off so fast. You hardly ever visit me. So you can imagine what the tender interaction between the uh, twins would have been. Yeah. And uh, Benedict, Benedict, being a stickler for his own rules, said that he could not spend the night outside of the monastery, that the abbot needed to be in the monastery uh, in, in, in the Benedictine order. Scholastica prays to God to send a thunderstorm that would prevent her brother from leaving her. And indeed, the storm was delivered, and the skies opened up, and the lightning, and there were buckets full of rain that came down. And Benedict goes, Rump, here you force me to spend the night here away from uh, my monastery. And this is one of the miracles ascribed to St. Scholastica that she asked God to bring the. Uh, uh, the thunder crashing down. So Benedict was not able to leave his sister that night. Now, you might say, well, that seems kind of a selfish miracle. I mean, why would you make somebody, okay, yes, it was a miracle, but why would you make somebody a saint when they did something for selfish purposes? Well, this is why. Because several days later, Scholastic had died, and it was the last time she was able to see her brother. And she probably knew she was dying, and that's why she wanted him to stay. 
and from his cell at Monte Cassino, Benedict saw her soul depart to heaven in the form of a dove. Miracle number two. So you need to have two, uh, two miracles to become a saint. The first one is she was able to have God send the storm. The second one is that her brother saw her soul depart in the form of a dove.